Welcome to Crystal Maker 10. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to generate a pair distribution function for your structure, how to show partial pair distribution functions, and how to copy or export the results. Pair distribution functions are a way of understanding local structure and bonding in amorphous materials such as glass. Unlike crystalline materials with their regularly tiled arrangements and space group symmetry, amorphous materials have no long-range order. However, they are not completely random, and they show a degree of clumpiness of atoms at certain length scales, which reflect similar bond distances to the crystalline form. For example, in silica glass, most silicon atoms are bonded to four oxygens, and those oxygens are at similar, although not identical, distances. And this kind of similarity is found throughout the structure. So, when considering the element pair silicon and oxygen, the numbers of neighbours with varying distance are not constant, but show broad peaks at certain values, similar to the kinds of distances one might measure in a crystalline framework, bond distances second nearest neighbours, third nearest neighbours, etc. We can quantify this local order with reference to a hypothetical and completely random structure. For example, let us consider the density of oxygen atoms around silicon in silica glass. In a completely random structure, this atom density would be constant we could calculate it from the overall density scaled by the oxygen element fraction in SiO2. In a real structure, we can count the number of oxygen atoms lying inside a spherical shell or onion skin of given thickness and variable radius from a central silicon atom. The ratio of atom densities for the real structure and the hypothetical fully random structure is called the partial pair distribution. Note that as distance increases, the volume of a spherical shell becomes larger and it samples a greater variety of atomic arrangements, making the overall pattern appear more random. Thus, the partial pair distribution function tends to 1 as distance increases. The full pair distribution function, which we can write d of r, is calculated by summing over all possible element pair combinations and correcting for the fraction of each element type and their influence on the scattering process. For neutrons, the neutron scattering length, b, is used, and for x-rays, the atomic number, z, is used. Now, why is this important? Well, it turns out that the full pair distribution function is the Fourier transform of the scattering function, and so is readily obtained from experimental data. Hence, it will be useful to be able to predict this from model data. We can readily generate a pair distribution function using the new Distance Explorer in Crystal Maker versions 10.7 or later. We simply use the Calculate Distance Explorer command or click the Distances button in the toolbar to bring up the Distance Explorer window. Next, click the Pair Distribution Function button in the toolbar to display a graph for your structure. Notice that, as with all pair distribution functions, the graph starts off with a negative slope before bouncing up to a series of positive maxima. This particular graph shows the results for neutrons. To see the results for x-rays, we click the radiation selector on the right-hand side of the button bar.
you can change the graph's color and its distance range using the sidebar on the left. Use the button bar above the graph to adjust graph settings. For example, we might want to change the thickness of our spherical shells, which we refer to as our histogram bin width. Um, to do this, we can click on the left hand button and use the slider to adjust the thickness. Notice that presets are available a rapid selection of preset values. You can adjust the line width, the legend, title, grid lines and other features uh, as for the Distance Explorer mode. And we can measure our graph by clicking on it and dragging the vertical cursor. And notice that measurements are shown on the y-axis and on the x-axis. To hide the cursor, simply click again on the graph. To display partial pair distribution functions, click the Partial Functions radio button in the sidebar. You can then enable or disable individual element pairs by clicking their checkboxes on or off. Hold down the Command or Shift keys to extend a selection. So here we have the Iron Bismuth Partial Pair Distribution function. The Share button on the top right hand corner of the Explorer window lets you copy your graph to the clipboard or export it to a vector graphics file. Here we have our exported graphics file showing a predicted pair distribution function for the disordered model of bismuth ferrite.